what's up guys the hack spot here and just an hour ago the electra jailbreak team pushed out a new jailbreak called chimera for all ios 12 devices through ios 12.1.2 and yes this one finally includes support for a 12 devices which are the iphone 10s and 10s max you can now go ahead and jailbreak them all right so take a look at this this is my electra team so you guys could see they tweeted out this introducing chimera a modern jailbreak for all devices on ios 12 through 12.1.2 so yeah we finally got it for A12 devices, and again, the iPhone XS and TEDx Max are supported. So you can go to the website over here on your computer and download Chimera for your device. Now, this is version 1.0, so it might have more glitches. They'll probably be rolling out a newer version very shortly, 2.0 or whatever that will be. But yeah, to install it directly from this website, you will need to download it onto your computer and put it onto your device from your computer. I'll be showing you guys how to do that in a second. Or there is a method without a computer too, using Ignition. Tweakbox does not have it right now, so just choose to use now as web. Tap on the second tab at the bottom. Over here, tap on jailbreaks. And you guys will find the Chimera jailbreak over here. And there it is. It's actually with a typo. It's Chimera instead of Chimera with the M. But yeah, I did try installing it from here. And for some reason on my device, it said unable to download. So it did not work from there. So if that happens for you too, simply use the computer method to get the Chimera app on your device so you could jailbreak. All right. So again, this jailbreak supports iOS 12.0, 12.0.1, 12.1, 12.1.1, 12 and last iOS 12.1.2. This jailbreak is not supported by iOS 12.1.3 and also 12.1.4 as they do block and patch the jailbreak. So this device right here, I cannot actually jailbreak it because it is on iOS 12.1.4, as you guys can see right there. But I do have another iPhone in 10 and it is jailbroken. So yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to get the Chimera jailbreak on your device and how to run it. And all right, so we're off. So the first thing you wanna do is open up your internet browser and you wanna download Cydia Impactor. Now this is what we're gonna be using to put the actual Chimera Jailbreak app on our device. So you can see it supports Mac, Windows, and also Linux. So go ahead and download it for your computer and install it. Then of course we need this Chimera Jailbreak app. So again, we're over here at this website. Just go and click on download and you guys are basically good to go. So credits and everything is all down there. But yeah, I already have it on my desktop as you guys can see. Over here, that's the IPA you will get. Anyways, now let's go over to City Impactor and run it. So what you want to do is right click on it both on Mac and Windows and then click on open. Once you do that, it'll go and open it up. And this is a program. So right now you guys can see on the top over here, it is blank. This is where we're going to plug in our device. Now make sure iTunes does detect it. Otherwise, it will not show up with an impactor. So you do need to have iTunes installed. And all right, so there's my device. So you guys can see, we got the IPA right there with the Samara jailbreak. All we gotta do is drag and drop it on top of here. And now type in your Apple ID and password to sign the application and put it on your device. You can even use a throwaway Apple ID if you want to, it doesn't matter. And looks like I get this error to sign in with an app specific password. So to fix this error, I'm pretty sure this is a very common one. Go to appleid.apple.com. I'm just gonna go and copy it from here. And let's go open up our browser. All right, so here we go. Log in. Ah, this error is so annoying because of two-factor authentication. I hate it. So I have to allow it now and get the code on my iPhone. I gotta type in the code. Finally happy, are you verified? That's me. All right, so over here, let's go ahead and generate a password. Hi, Apple. All right, that's my label. And there is our app specific code. So I'm gonna copy this over and let's go ahead and try this again. So again, I'm gonna drag and drop, enter my Apple ID, hit okay. And now let's go ahead and paste in that app specific password and no. All right, so I replugged in my device and turns out this one is not trusted. Oh my God, that's annoying. So now it's trusted. All right, it looks like this time it's actually gonna work. So going on to our device, I'm gonna swipe over. Okay, it's probably gonna appear on the last page here in a second. Got to keep on swiping like this. All right, let's go. Oh, okay, there we go, whoa, it's blank. <laughs> Where'd it go? Is it invisible? Okay, that is trippy. I don't know where it is. Go and try typing it in. Shin. Okay, there it is. So we actually got the app. 
Let's go ahead and tap on it. Okay, we can't tap on it right now because we gotta trust it. So settings, general, scroll down, profiles, device management. Oops, wrong one. And you're gonna tap on the email that you used. Trust, trust, and let's go and open it up. So here we are. There is a Chimera jailbreak so you can unplug your device. All right, so what I would do before actually running this is Exiting out of here, open up settings, going to general, and then heading over to storage, iPhone storage. And you guys can see your apps will populate right here. Now, if you have any iOS 12 or any other version software update, you simply would want to go and tap on it and delete the update. There might be multiple, so let's go ahead and give it a try, take, just look around. And what we want to do then is put your device in airplane mode. And this will just help ensure that the jailbreak does go through. So yeah, let's go back to Chimera, and then you should attempt your jailbreak. Now again, this device is on iOS 12.1.4, and my other iPhone 10 is actually jailbroken on iOS 12, so I don't have a free device to show you guys this, but it might be buggy. It might take a couple tries to actually get Cydia on your device, just like with the previous jailbreak. So if it crashed or anything, it's going to try again. It might take five tries even to get the jailbreak fully up and running and get Cydia on your device. That's just how it is. But I hope you guys great success with this jailbreak. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. That would be much appreciated. And thank you guys so much for the support. You guys are just absolutely amazing. I've been sick lately and I have been able to upload and it just means a lot that I still have supporters out there. I don't know how you guys do it. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. This is the Hack Spot, and peace out. Mm -hmm.